My name is George Garcia. I'm a product support specialist for Autodesk Eagle. And in this video, we're going to be going over the new directory structure in the latest version of Eagle. So as you can see, we are here in the Eagle control panel. And what's going to be different to those of you who have used Eagle before is that each section now contains two folders. And in each section, there's always a folder called examples. So the biggest change is that everything that used to be the default content that came with Eagle, the default cam job, scripts, UOPs, all of that has been moved to the examples folder under each respective section. So the new folder is actually in user, in a user location. So here on Windows, it's going to be in Documents, Eagle, in an Eagle folder. If you go there, you're going to see that the folder contains each of these sections individually. So what we've done is in this latest version of Eagle we've created a clear separation between the content that ships with Eagle and user created content. And in this way we can avoid users accidentally saving into protected areas, uh, running into issues with permissions and things like that. So that's the, that's the key of it. Now you will also notice that there's no longer a documentation tree. That's now under help documentation. So we feel that's something that's going to be a lot more intuitive to new users. It's very natural to go to the help section and look for documentation. And that's exactly where it is now. So the key takeaway here is that if, for example, you want to modify one of those files that comes with Eagle, what's going to happen is if we go, for example, to projects, and I go ahead and open Hexapod. No. Okay. You're going to see this message here. Resources and example files are opened in read-only mode. Choose File Save As to save changes to this document. So basically, anything that's a default asset that comes with Eagle, that's going to open up in read-only. You go File Save As and you give it a new name. And again, this is to protect the default resources that come with Eagle. That way they're a known good state for support staff and users can rely that these examples are always going to be intact and not perhaps affected by some change that they made three months ago and don't remember now. So those are the key benefits of this new arrangement. So we want to emphasize anything that is in the examples folders is going to be read only when you open it. You can however do a file save as and save it into your user space folders. These user space folders are all going to be in documents in the Eagle folder that Eagle creates there if it doesn't exist already. If you're coming from previous versions of Eagle, those folders will be created in that pre-existing Eagle folder. So you won't have to move anything around. So thank you very much everyone. Have a great day.